former British Prime Minister Boris Johnson has stated that under certain circumstances, he could lead a foreign legion in Ukraine. The politician made the corresponding admission in a telephone conversation with Russian pranksters Vovan and Lexus, who introduced themselves as Ukrainian officials. According to him, the lack of military leadership talent is currently preventing him from doing so, but the desire is there. I am as ardent a supporter of Ukraine as you can imagine. And I often wish I was gifted in the military so that I could go and lead a foreign legion in Ukraine if I were a general, Johnson said. He added that he considers peace talks between Moscow and Kyiv possible, but only after Russia's defeat. I'm afraid the precondition has to be the defeat of Russia and the Ukrainians have to have some sense of victory because that's the only way I think they'll be able to negotiate anything, the former Prime Minister of Great Britain emphasised. Speaking about the degree of the West's involvement in the Russian-Ukraine confrontation, he noted that the United States and its allies are full participants in the conflict. I am sad to say this, I think we are already involved. We support the Ukrainians. But the reality is, and this is a terrible tragedy, but the Ukrainians are fighting for us. And I think that the minute we publicly introduce our forces, our own troops, into their territory, it will become a different category, a completely different category of conflict. The consequences are not easy to predict. Boris Johnson admitted. Let us recall that after the start of the military operation of the Russian Federation in Ukraine, the Kiev was ready to negotiate with Moscow and even signed a corresponding document. After that, the Russian Federation withdrew its troops from Kiev. These negotiations, held predominantly in Istanbul, have become a focus for critics of the war in the US, who often argue that the West, and particularly then British Prime Minister Boris Johnson, sabotaged these negotiations and prevented a successful ceasefire. Vladimir Putin would go on to make a similar argument in his now infamous interview with Tucker Carlson. It is noted that after Boris Johnson arrived in the Ukrainian capital, Zelensky and his team refused to comply with the terms of the agreement and declared their intention to inflict a strategic defeat on Moscow. A group of people staged a protest rally in Mongolia's capital Ulaanbaatar on Tuesday amid Russian President Vladimir Putin's visit to the country. The protesters gathered outside of the government palace in the capital, holding Ukrainian flags and chanting the slogans, Get away, or criminal Putin out of here. The protest was held amid the Mongolian government's refusal to arrest Putin on an international warrant for war crimes committed in Ukraine. The small-scale protest was later dispersed by law enforcers. It should be noted that Mongolia is a member of the International Criminal Court, which issued an arrest warrant against Putin over war crimes in Ukraine. The court alleges that Russian leader Vladimir Putin failed to stop the unlawful deportation of children from Ukraine to Russia since the conflict began over two years ago. Prior to the visit, Ukraine urged Mongolia to arrest Vladimir Putin. However, the Kremlin said it had no worries about the visit.
там, ты сейчас улыбишься, но через три года ты будешь плакать, потому что ты проклят, ты голод колена, вы такие.